Hey guys, so a while back I took I did an unboxing video for the 3D4 Makers uh, PETG. Uh, I never did put it up on my channel, and I'll explain to you here in a moment why, but uh, let me go ahead and play that uh, video right now, and I will see you at the end of it. Hey guys, so today I wanted to take and start getting everything ready on my printer to print out of this project that's coming up. A uh, good friend of mine that's a designer. I'm not going to say his name right now because I don't know if he wants me to, but <laughs> he's been helping me out quite a bit here lately. And uh, he's got a project that's coming up that I'm going to be printing out. And he was really, really great to me. He took and he contacted this company, and this company in turn got hold of me. And uh, it's going to be 3D4Makers.com. This is the first time I've ever had a company send me something to actually use on a project and I want to thank them very much for sponsoring this project because um, without them I don't know if I could afford the, the, this this style of filament anyways once again it is from 3d4makers.com and what they did is they sent me a roll of their blue PETG and it's uh, 1.75 millimeters 750 grams it's got a temperature range of between 210 and 235. Okay, and as you can see, the PETG comes in a vacuum pack bag. Doesn't look like there's any disc in it, which is alright. Yep, the bag was vacuum packed. It's got a clear spool. It's a very nice color. That's going to be really cool. And there's the QR code. If a person wants to scan that, you can do it there. <laughs> hey guys, and we're back. So, the reason why I haven't done a whole lot with this filament just yet is because my i3 just wouldn't reach the temperature I needed to, to get to. And I know what's causing it, and I'll, that'll be it in an upcoming video uh, where I fix that problem. Uh, so I figure since I got the stringing issue ironed out with this printer in, as of the last video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a shot on this machine and see how it works out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out another bottle opener I found on Thingiverse. I'll put a link to it in the video description. And that's going to not only give me a good chance to, to try out this uh, filament, but it's going to give me a good chance to see just how flexible it really is. So I will print it out, and I will see it in the time lapse. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was two hours and nine minutes it took to print. Now this does print with support material and I went ahead and I went back through uh, Cura and did it, which was probably a mistake I should have just went ahead and did it through uh, Craftware. But let me go ahead and pull the support material out. It's kind of a different design on this one. Yeah, that'll be good enough for now. <laughs> okay, so I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say, well, you took and you printed up a bottle cap opener for your mom a while back. Why are you doing another one? Well, this one here is bigger. 
This will allow you to open up your regular bottle caps for, say, a water bottle. It fits it just fine. It works. Which actually, by the way, that's very pliable. I really like that material. And let's say that you got some canola oil in the kitchen. Yeah, don't worry, they're not fun to me. <laughs> but this one, it actually will fit it as well. Perfectly. It's got the different size, well, the three different sizes in there. And then it also gives you a bottle cap opener so you can do it that way. Or if you have a soda pop can, you can pry it up using that one. But I do have to say, I'm impressed with the finish. I went ahead and I used the cooling fan, which I know you're not supposed to with, with Pet G. But I went ahead and did it. It actually turned out really nice. And I believe I was printing this at 220 degrees Celsius on this particular printer. Uh, with my other one, I needed to... It, it, what's funny about the Me Creator 2 and the, the G-Tech uh, Prusa Aluminum i3 is I'm getting about 10 degrees difference between the two. Like this one here, I have to turn down the filament uh, 10 degrees compared to what I do on my other one. And whenever I try to, to crank the other one up to 230, that's when I start having problems. But I'm going to get that fixed here. I know exactly what I need to do, and it has to do with the power supply. So stay tuned for that video. That's going to be an interesting one. Anyway, I really like how that turned out. The layer lines look great. There was just a little bit of stringing, so I could probably turn it down just a hair. But other than that, it turned out great. The PTG is soft, uh, fairly flexible. Um... I have a roll of the Black E Sun PETG, and it's actually more rigid than this. And but this has really turned out nice. It almost printed like uh, like my PLA usually does. But that's going to be cool. Uh, full disclosure: this roll of filament was supplied to me from 3D4Makers.com. Was supplied by 3D4Makers.com. Um, it uh, was provided so I could do a review on it, but mainly so I could print a certain project out that's coming up here soon on the channel. And uh, I can't wait to get started on that. And I'll get into more details on that in the, in the weeks to come. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Have a good one. Hey, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell, too. That way you'll get notified when the video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.